Okay guys, today we're going to be unboxing the Dell Inspiron, the uh, 3650 desktop. It has 8 gigabytes of memory, it has a terabyte hard drive, it has 4 USB ports in the back, 2 in the front, it has an integrated Intel HD graphics card, it has Windows 10, it has a DVD and CD writer and reader. It also has wireless and Bluetooth HDMI connection and a memory card reader. We're going to open this bad boy up and then we'll let you see it when it's all plugged in. Here we go. The one we currently have is about yay big, yay tall. It's a lot smaller, which is a good thing. Because with our house, the way it's designed, it's in our living room. So smaller is always better. So see. You can see the USB ports and the memory card reader and Headphone jack. It's really nice. There's the keyboard. Mouse, that it comes with, which Josh can't use. But this is in the package. It has a microphone, speakers, and then that's for the HDMI, and that's for the monitor. Well, we've had the computer unboxed and set up for about a day and a half now. So I wanted to give you guys a quick review of our experience with this computer so far. We picked it up at Best Buy for about $464, that's tax included, Alpha Door. So now I saw online you can probably pick it up for about $420, and I believe it is well worth the money that you pay for this machine. So it's a very powerful machine, you're getting an i3 dual core processor, you're getting about 3.7 gigahertz for your processing speed. Uh, it's 8 gigabyte, gigabytes of RAM, so you're really able to multitask without much problem at all. Uh, even with that power, it is still a very quiet machine. You rarely hear the fan come on, so it, it's really uh, doing processing with, with ease. It just cuts through like a hot knife through butter. The only problem that we've ran into so far is with the Wi-Fi. Right out of the box we could not get the Wi-Fi to connect to our router at the house. So we ended up having to call Dell and about 20-30 minutes later they found the problem and were able to fix the internet connection. Uh, I would recommend connecting with a wired connection. You're going to get more speed from your router to your computer without going through uh, Wi-Fi. That's, that's what I recommend. Uh, the second problem that I've noticed is with the graphics card. It's an integrated graphics card with a, it's called HD Graphics 530. And what I'm noticing with this is a lot of the newer games uh, are not compatible with this graphics card. So if you're a gamer and you're getting a computer for gaming, I really think about uh, upgrading that graphics card. But for $464, Overall, I think this is a great purchase. Uh, I'm very satisfied with the computer, and I think that you should go check it out on bestbuy.com right now, and you can get a good deal on it. So that's our review of the product. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Take care.